This book is called Pitter Pattern and it is by Joyce Hessel Berth and it's a good day for today because yes we have the pitter patter of raindrops in Vancouver today. Pitter patter pat, pitter patter pat, pitter patter pat. Hey, it's a pitter patter pattern. Lou helps her friends take off their wet things. Boot, boot, puddle, boot, boot, puddle. Another pattern. What comes next? Boot, boot, puddle. Milk, apple, cracker, cheese. Milk, apple, cracker, cheese. Milk, apple, cracker, cheese. There are patterns everywhere. How many can you find? This is where you need to have the book in front of you so you can see the pattern in the trees and the, the pattern of the flowers and the pattern on the dog. Another snack time. Lou says goodbye to her friends. She'll see them again next Sunday. Next Sunday? Hey, the days of the week are a pattern too. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then it starts again. Monday. Lou has soccer practice after school on Monday. She and her teammates practice kicking the ball between the cones. In, out, in, out, in, out. Soccer balls are made of black and white shapes that fit together. These shapes curve around the entire ball. On Tuesday, Lou goes to her piano lesson. Hey, look at the piano keys. Two black keys, three black keys two black keys, three black keys, all the way up the keyboard. Tuesday, the notes on the white keys are a pattern too. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Lou claps her hands together to learn the rhythm of the song. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ah, 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 ta, ti, ti, ta, ah, ah, ah. Music is full of patterns. Wednesday. In dance class, the beat of the drum is a pattern. Boom, ba, ba, boom, boom, ba, ba, boom. And the next step in Lou's dance makes a pattern. Jump, hop, kick, twirl, jump, hop, kick, twirl, jump, hop, kick, twirl, jump, hop, kick, twirl. Thursday. What a nice day. Lou and her dad go for a walk in the park. And are there patterns here? Lots of patterns in the park. And here, stepping in a big puddle. Friday, Lou spends Friday night with her grandma. They curl up in quilts and read a story. The patterns in the quilts all have names. Evening star, pinwheels, attic windows, and Lou's favorite, flying geese. When the story is over, it's time for bed. It's hard to fall asleep. Counting sheep might help. White sheep, white sheep, black sheep, white sheep, white sheep, black sheep. Shh. The next morning, Lou and her grandma ride the bus to the zoo. Saturday, Saturday at the zoo and all kinds of patterns in the animals, the peacocks and the giraffes and the zebras. Are there patterns here? And here, Lou loves the animals she saw today. She can't wait to tell her friends about them on Sunday. Sunday, pitter patter pat, pitter patter pat, pitter patter pat. There's your task. Off you go to spot all of the patterns. Good luck.